What is up everybody, Abyssal Adversary here, and I'm bringing you a gameplay video on this war of mine. So, I started a new game, I'm gonna, I made it a shorter game, I think 20 days. And then I have a character I made, which I believe I chose Forester Profession, which I have no idea what that means. And then I have Boris... Marco and Marvin, I think. Oh, so yeah, this uh, game is pretty much you need to survive. That's pretty much hands down the basis of this game. You have to have food for everybody to eat. Gotta patch up the holes in the walls and clear all the debris to get materials and survive. This game can get very sad very quick, so I'm hoping it's not going to this time. I've decided, because I've played this for like 10 hours, I think, and I decided that for uh, this one, I'm going to try not to kill unless absolutely necessary. So am I in? Okay. So war has been raging for countless months, and a besieged city has been reduced to a sea of ruins by constant shelling, going outside during daylight, it's like inviting snipers to target practice. Everything is in short supply, and what little aid reaches the city is seized by the most ruthless and best armed. A few residents were lucky enough to flee, the unlucky ones who missed the last refuge, uh, refugee convoy are left to fend for themselves, ordinary people huddling in the ruins, relying only on each other to survive. So I have Boris, strong but slow, Marco, which is a skilled scavenger, Marin, the, or Marin, not Marvin, the handyman, and then me, uh, the skilled wood chopper. Slightly sick. So I think if I get the axe, I could clear a lot of stuff easily. But let's have everybody start clearing debris. Oh. How about you go up towards that one? You go for that one. And Marco can go look in that. So I got food, uh, herbs, and materials, uh, components, sugar, water, and wood. And then you next, we'll go for that. Actually, I'll send just that guy to do it. More uh, gears, electronic or electric parts, and all that. And another guy found this stuff. More components, woods, and herbs. Wow, I have a lot of herbs. So this can be used to make herbal medications or roll up cigarettes, which they can boost either. So it's pretty much sickness or moral. But this guy. Let's damage that. You can go start clearing up that debris. And you can go to the workshop real quick. Uh, more just random components. Nothing too serious. We're actually quite low on food, but usually good stuff's hidden behind everything else. If you uh, double click while playing it, it'll make them run faster. Yeah, it's taking so long without a shovel. We need to make a shovel like ASAP. And then 
so tool shop, right? Metal workshop. Curbos for breaking doors. Yeah, okay. So make. We're gonna place this as close to the um, workshop as I can. Can I not place it over here? I guess not. Okay. So good thing I'm sending Martin to do this because he uses, I think as the handyman, he uses uh, less resources to make stuff. So is there anything else I can do? I can uh, afford to that. Yeah, as soon as that's made, we make the shovel. It's only 7:50 a.m. Wow. I've actually, uh, I'm way ahead of what I should be doing. Once I get everything all cleared out on the first day, it's pretty much then just repairing and uh, clean up. Like you could patch up that hole. Uh, you can't choose which holes to patch up, but by the looks of it, there's three holes for me to patch up. So I need to patch those up so then people can't just come in here and uh, attack us. So just more materials. I think if you get the um, right thing with the sugar and the water, you can make alcohol to sell. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much the day part of the game, that you're just moving around making stuff. Um, do I need a craft? No, 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 as Martin. So, first off, shovel. After the shovel, then I can make a crowbar, and I could get people to uh, clear out the wood, the um, doors that are blocked. Oh my gosh, I forgot I could zoom in. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, two doors blocked, one up here, and one on this uh, second floor, or oh, first floor. And one down in the basement. I think the first one that's going to be done is this one up here. So I'll send him up there. So once that shovel is done, then I can clear through the debris in uh, every single place. It's easy to fall ill when it's cold. Yeah, I need to get a heater. I need to set up everything. I'm probably even on 20 days. Probably still won't be able to win. I'm not a master at this game. I've just played it. Um, now I need to make a crowbar. Boris, Boris, no, 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 no. Now you can finish cleaning that really quickly. And that guy's almost done, so I don't need to get him off of it. Yeah, look at how much faster he's clearing. And then you can now go and get that. Boris, I will send you to go clear that out. And I'll just uh, get you a little steps forward. Oh yeah, more food, uh, a lockpick, and then more materials. Okay, so now I could uh, lockpick through that. 
just gonna wait until. Oh, there's no way to get through that door without a crowbar. So then I will just have him start clearing that out. Once the crowbar is done, I'll send him to go down to the bottom. He can clear out that door. But this time he can clear out this door. for him to be done with the crowbar and then I could use the crowbar on the bottom thing actually no 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 I want him over here I want Marco the scavenger over here but I think as the scavenger even inside the house you get more materials from regular stuff that's what I'm going to try to do and then go clear that out He's clearing out the top part. Oh, so you didn't need the crowbar for this. Okay. I thought you did. That would have been a lot helpful earlier. Now that that's open, how much longer? T okay, so he's almost done with the shovel. And then have Boris start undoing the wood on the door. Now we should think about heating. I know, I need to get a heater, guys, and all this other stuff. Um, what else can I make? this lockpick which I don't need right now. Can I make anything in here? So we're going to need a bed. So I will make two beds right now. I will put them both up here. Oh cool, books. And medication, that's really good. For um, later, if you're ever trading, books go for pretty high and plus they help keep morals up within the group. So. Go scavenge this. And then go go break open this door. So Boris is done up there. Grab all it. So maybe, yeah. I'll just send him to open that up real quick. And I think that's about it. I don't know what I just sent him to do, I forgot. Oh yeah, I need to break open this door next and take care of all that. That won't be too hard to take care of. It's only 140. I think time ends at like 7. So I should be able to easily get everything up and going. So 
So how far is our crowbar down? Crowbar is about halfway and shovel is pretty good still. So all three of these should be done about the same time. That's good. So you could have a max of four. Oh, cool bandages. And then more books. Cool. So now we have a book for every single person. As I was saying, we can only have a max of four people in uh, this in one house. Because I'm doing a custom game. And uh, that's how I was able to put my character in. But if you're playing the regular game, usually you have three people. And then you get a fourth one that walks in and is like, hey, do you mind if I stay with you? And yeah, so you get fourth person that way. But I got all the bros, Boris, Marco, Marvin, or Marvin, and James. So he is taking care of that. Actually, no. I'm going to go take care of that. Send him to up here. All the way over so you can start unlocking that. There you go. Is Marin done with that? Yeah, he is. So during the day, you could have them rest too. So later within the series, I'll probably have two people resting while the other people are doing something. And that way, it's like conserve energy for the night, and then, uh, can and then during night I have the other people rest, somebody on guard, and somebody out scavenging, which scavenging is going to be the fun part of this game. Because there's a whole lot of uh, chances to fail and die. And all that, but there's a lot of cool things you could do too. No, 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 Martin. I want you to build. I want you to do that, and now you can start unlocking that. There you go. He was a little glitched. So, yeah, a heater is going to take uh, 15 components. So, that's going to take uh, next time. And then we need to make a uh, stove. This is the moonshine still, which water and sugar, and, uh, we can make booze. And then rain water collector, which I'll probably make after I make the bed. Move it up here by the other one. So he's scavenging, or he's breaking that right now. So I have like two or three hours left in the day, and I've almost got everything done. Once I get an axe, too, I could chop down the, um,. Anything big like that, or the desks like that, and use that for just plain wood to have, which works really well sometimes. So, yeah, he's going through that now. I'm gonna have you go rest, even though it's almost time. And so, more herbs, sugar, water, and books. Okay. And then Marco, last thing I need you to do, do today is to go and check that out. So I should have a second bed built by the end of the day. 
There's medication and bandage in the uh, medicine cabinet now. And then we only have small rations. There's a way to getting canned food and vegetables. There's a way of growing vegetables, which I'm going to try to do. Because once I get, like, five uh, rainwater things down here, if I have the chance to do so, it's going to get lots of water. And with, and with water, you can make a lot of stuff with it. And as soon as I make a moonshine still, too, I can make the booze, which I could trade. And then here's this jewelry, which helps us with uh, bartering a lot. So I think with that, everything's cleared out. Yeah, he's going to sleep. Nothing's up there. Yep, I have everything I need. So, I'm going to end the day. It's time for the first night. So I'm going to have, yeah, Marco go scavenge the garage. So lots of parts, some med, huge amounts of materials, lots of food, possible trade and caution advised. Um, I'm going to have Boar sleep, I'm going to have Marin sleep, I'm going to have me guard. So prepare, uh, I'm going to bring uh, the lock picks. No, I I don't think there's going to be anybody there, so I'm going to bring uh, the crowbar because the lockpick's supposed to be uh, quietly opening, while the crowbar everyone hears you open everything. So possible trade, I'll bring uh, these just in case if I go I actually do trade if there's anybody there. If not, it's just another empty room for me. But I can continue. So we're supposed to want to see what this says. So this is a big house. No more hiding, we meet in heaven. So there may be people in there or not. I don't know. There's a place for me to hide. Uh, let's scavenge this. So a trick that I learned to do was um, when scavenging, you could store anything and anywhere. So in this one place, I could store a lot of the stuff. So I'm going to leave the one piece of wood in there. I'm going to go up here. Grab that stuff and go. I don't even know why I pulled this stuff out, but I'm going to go empty it in that one place. Because so Marco has 15 slots, so I could bring a lot of the stuff in. But um, for a lot of other stuff, Boris is can carry 17 items. So that's when you put everything in the closest pile towards the door where you first enter, and then when you come back. Oh, like, look at all this stuff. If I carried it all, I'm almost full. So I can't carry everything this one time. So I'm just going to have to go for another time with, um, Boris. But this way, I can put everything in this one spot and grab the most valuable stuff and then get materials the next day. So, put that, put that, put that, put that, put that. Just keep going through. And so, yeah, this can infinitely hold everything. So, there is something up here. Oh, hey, there's a guy here. So, yeah, you can trade. I do not have any medicine. That's the one thing. 
So I could come back tomorrow with medicine for the father and get something out of it. But until then, I pretty much just gotta keep going with scavenging. And here, I think you need like a file or something to get through these doors, which would be how you sneak in. But these guys seem like nice guys. They didn't shoot me point blank. They're just asking for some medicine, so I'm not going to go uh, do that. And so I can't get everything. So I'm going to go drop all this stuff off. I'm going to actually go see if I can barter with him with the um, jewels that I have. And then put all those back and see what else I could do. So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much the gameplay. There's really not much else to it. It's just survive. At least I know that there's a whole lot of materials here. All this base materials is going to save us so much later. So now I want to trade. No, 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 don't steal, don't steal, don't steal, don't steal. Trade. I clicked the, um, if you see the little uh, hand and diamond. So, see how this guy has food saws. Um, okay, so this is how we get the metal bars. So I, I don't, I don't need all of this. So let's see, if I put one up, fine, we have a deal. Can I get one of these? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, no. So, food is going to be a little bit. Yeah, food is harder to do. So, I'll take this off. I'll go for the smaller food. Won't do, try harder. How about vegetables? Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, I can't do anything with uh, two. Ooh, an axe. So yeah. So I'll trade one for one. Get that bar. So then later I could go uh go through a um go through one of the metal bars. I'm not going to go into this house. I'm going to come back tomorrow because I saw the axe and the food and all that. I'm going to bring medicine and maybe bandages, which might be what's it called? Um, stupid. I know, but it's right now. I can, I want to get further ahead that way than trying to. Let's go. I want to get further ahead. Uh, tools wise than I would care about medicine and bandage wise because once I make something certain I can make homemade medic medications which work so okay it's pretty much with that it I could technically go through here but no We're gonna save the saw blade for something else. So yeah, it's only on in the game 11:20. So I was here for three hours and 20 minutes so far. Probably going to be at 3:40 by the time I leave. And then I'm going to go home. Gonna have him rest in a bed, and uh, whoever was watching, which I think was me, rest in the bed. 
Okay. So I'm gonna go with three more of these and then fill up the rest with wood. Okay. So right now there's four by five? No, four by four. So sixteen here. If I bring the medication stuff tomorrow for trade, I won't be able to get everything. And plus, I don't want to pick up the um, this. So I have 15 slots plus two more for trading, which I'll get hopefully the axe with. And yeah. So I'm all filled up. I have nothing else. So, and plus, I don't need to bring the crowbar next time or um, anything else. So. Only medication by the sounds of it. Well, so yeah, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to do one day at a time because it's going to be easiest to record for you guys. Maybe later once it gets to uh, shorter days because I have nothing to do, I'll record more. But if you like it, please leave a like and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.